Good morning friends, I hope you're doing well. It's Justine here from House of Mahalo and can you believe, yes, another month, another Mahalo monthly. Um, so as always with these videos, I just want to have a look back on, you know, the month we've just had, the month going forward so you know what to expect. And I have some wonderful happy mail and purchases to share with you this week. Um, but before I get into all of that, I just want to give a quick shout out to my friend Cheryl. Um, she is based in Florida um, and I don't know if you've seen on the news um, but they're facing some some big hurricanes and freak weather um, at the moment. Um, I'm hoping that she's okay. I have seen a few Facebook updates from her and I know that they had lost you know water and electricity and such like so um, I don't know if she's been able to get onto the phone um, in the last day or so I haven't seen anything so um, I'm just saying my thoughts with Cheryl and yeah I just hope that everyone can share some positive vibes for uh, Cheryl but also anyone who is based in, in that side of the US or anyone facing you know severe weather and such like right now um, yeah just like band together um, let's share some positive vibes across across the pond um, and let's all hope that everyone will be you know safe and well soon um, I'm really sorry for the squeaky chair um, it's it's pretty squeaky, um, but you know, Cheryl, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, my love, but um, if you do, then you know, please know that I am I am thinking of you and um, sending those positive vibes and such like. Please let us know as soon as you can um, that you're okay. Um, so yeah, I look back on the month then, um, just to change the the tone of it. There, um, we started the altered book, didn't we? Um, so yeah, I started working on my Through the Seasons altered book, um, my first altered book journal, never done one, complete experiment, and I'm actually really pleased with how the pages went. Um, so most of you will know this, but for those of you who don't, the idea for the series is I want to do a page layout per video, and we're going to be working on it through the seasons, in theory, um, and the book is for a book for all seasons. So we started with autumn because I was starting it in September. The autumn pages are done. Um, you should have seen the ephemera video for that, which I may change my mind about the ephemera. Um, no surprise there. Um, but for now, that's what I'm sticking with. And I just want to see how, you know, chunky the book gets um, over time. But yeah, I'm really pleased with the pages and, and how that all went. So um, I'm putting a pause on that series just for a moment um, because I want to obviously work on the winter pages next. I'm not ready for winter yet. Um, goodness no, I'm not even ready for autumn technically. So um, uh, I'll be back with that, I'm thinking November, December we might want to work on the winter pages and then spring and summer spreads I'll work on, well, as soon as I can really, um, and they'll be much the same as each other so um, I'll probably just continue the series right, right through spring and summer both together kind of thing that's what I'm planning anyway we'll see we'll see how that goes um I also finished finally my enchanted woodland fairy journal um the flip through went up the other day and I was really pleased with it um it's taken me a good few months off and on I mean I put it down for about two months didn't I where I didn't I didn't touch it I didn't even look at it um this time I, 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 I felt ready to work on it actually because of the season and this is something that I've really learned about myself where I was telling myself before that I work well with the seasons so um, you know if I'm looking out of my window right now I can see red berries on the trees um, and you know green slight turning into like an early autumn brown that's what I can see and that's what I'm inspired by. Um, and so, you know, for me, I'm looking outside the window and thinking, well, that's that's autumn on its way. That is winter on its way with the red berries. But yeah, that that's what I'm inspired by, is what I can see out my window and, and what I see on my walks. And so I was trying to work on this, you know, enchanted woodland type of project um, back in the spring when that, that's not a problem, I walk in the woods during the spring, but in spring I'm thinking of the tulips and the daffodils and the crocuses and all these beautiful colours that are starting to come out. And then of course I was trying to work on it through part of the early summer period, uh, before I worked on Tim Holtz. And again, 
I wanted to be working on, you know, Edith Holden type projects and flowers and botanicals, not so much browns and greens and woodlands. So that's something that I've really learned about myself. So when I sat down to work on the Woodlands Journal this month, September, um, it was so much easier than what it had been. It came flowing out much, much easier. And I think that was simply because of the time of year. And believe it or not, I got so into it that I was, I didn't want to finish. <laughs> I did obviously have to put a stopper on it at some point because, you know, the journal was getting quite, uh, quite chunky. Um, but I, di I didn't want to stop. I wasn't ready to put down the mushrooms and, the, you know, the greenery and the browns and the bark and that kind of thing. I wasn't ready to put it down. So I have... And I haven't squirreled, I have been, you know, careful about it, but equally we have to go where our inspiration takes us. So now that that project is finished and I'm so, so happy with it, um, I'm not ready to give up working on green just yet. I do want to have another week, maybe two. Um, so I have decided to do a um, another project next month, October, um, which will be a forest woodland theme again. Um, but it's going to be a waterfall journal, which was in my plan. I thought I was going to do a secret garden waterfall journal, but I've changed my mind and I've decided to go, no, I'm happy. I want to stick with greens just for now. Um, you know, all the leafy greens. It'll be my version of green. It won't be grungy. It will be my my kind of colours, which is, you know, the bright green and the, um, the beautiful golds mixed in with that and stuff. Um, but that's what we're going to do in October for, um, it will only be a few videos worth because it's only a, a quick project really, it's only one signature. Um, but I thought we could do that together. So I'll start filming that when I come back from Paris. Um, I'm actually going to Paris in a few days. So I think you'll see this on the Saturday and we're due to go Paris on Monday, so two days from now. Um, I'm filming this on Friday just so you know. <laughs> it is as real time as I can get. Um, but yeah, we're going to Paris next week. And so I think I'm not ready to work on anything big this week. So I'm just putting out some um, embellishment and ephemera type videos. But when I come back from Paris, I'm ready to go all in on the Waterfall Journal for a few videos where, you know, we'll we'll prep it together. Um, I'll, get, I'll bind it off camera because I'm still not ready to do that on video yet. Um, because it is just elbows and arms flailing everywhere. Um, and then we'll, you know, put the pockets in and the ephemera because what I wanted to show you is I still have an entire box full of ephemera that I didn't use in the, uh, the woodland journal that I've just done, the fairy one. So, you know, I've got things like my enchanted leaf belly bands. I still have two of these, um, because I only used one in the journal in the end. And I thought because I do forest and stuff my way, like it's, all of this is me. Um, I can I can put this in the the forest journal. I don't mind having gold and sparkle in there. So I thought, you know, I've still got quite a lot of stuff like that. So we'll we won't. I I can't imagine us doing any ephemera or embellishments together because I have a heap of things um, already ready to use. So I imagine it will only be a few videos for the waterfall journal anyway. Um, so we'll do that. Um, I'm hoping, yeah, early October is what I'm. I'm going, gunning for just a, a few videos um, and then I will be ready to work on my junk mail journal which I will just grab it uh, sorry me and my memory I totally forgot to get it out because I started working on this right at the beginning of doing YouTube tutorial type videos um, I'm not, I don't like to call them tutorials because I'm still learning. <laughs> um, although I try to show you what I'm doing and give instructions, I am still learning. So I don't consider myself a teacher or anything like that. I am just trying things out and filming the process. But um, at the beginning of my YouTube videos, crafting on camera, let's call it that, um, I started to make this. Can you see? I, I, the closure, I'm just, I just tied that on there. I'm not sure about the closure yet. But I started working on this, this squirrel journal, which is made entirely from junk mail envelopes. And I only got so far. So it's, it's bound in, the cover is done, that's the back with those beautiful, um, uh, those are rose hips, aren't they? 
Um, so the yeah, the journal is bound in. I started decorating some of the pages. I started making some of the ephemera. And then last year, I was trying to work on it too late in the autumn period, I think, because then I ended up squirreling, <laughs> couldn't resist, sorry, um, over into Christmas. And I ended up making three Christmas journals. And that project, unfortunately, had to be put on the back burner because then suddenly it was all about Christmas and I had to get Christmas done. Um, and then, yeah, and then it was into winter and I couldn't go back on autumn, really. So I thought we would do that together. Um, I hope. I have to look over the journal because I've not looked at it in a year. Um, so I actually have to have a look over it and decide what needs to be left to do. Um, but I'm hoping that we can do some videos on it. Even if I just do a little bit on camera and a little bit off, I would like to pick that project back up and get it finished in October as well. So that's our two sort of main projects this month, October. It's the waterfall journal in a forest theme and a and the junk mail journal will be the autumn projects. Um, they're two small projects, which is why I've done them together in one month and I think we'll, we'll do just fine with that. Um, and then, <laughs> I can't believe it, but we'll be in November and we're off, in, we're off into Christmas and winter. Somehow. <laughs> Please tell me how that happened, I'm not sure. But um, that's, that's the plan anyway, so that's what we've got coming uh, soon. <laughs> soon. Uh, I haven't long woken up, um, so you know, it's about 9 o'clock in the morning. Um, I wake up about 7, I don't really get out of bed until about 8. Yeah, I know, I'm lazy. <laughs> um, but I, I haven't long been awake, so um, I'm a bit... But, you know, I wanted to get this video done, because then I can get some more crafting, and then I have to go pack for Paris. <laughs> so, there's that. Um, there is uh, some other stuff that I want to do in October on video. Um, one thing is Shop Your Stash. It's a challenge we're running in the Facebook group, where the idea is that we are... We're not buying anything in. We are looking through our craft stash and we're finding things that we might have been hoarding. Maybe we've forgotten about them. Maybe, you know, scraps or packaging and that type of thing has piled up. Um, maybe we've got, you know, projects that need finishing, <laughs> like, my, like me. Um, maybe we've got, you know, leftover digitals that want using up, that kind of a thing is what the Shop Your Stash Challenge is all about. So I'm going to do some of my projects on video. The Waterfall Journal is admittedly part of that because I've been hoarding scrapbook papers, some of them since I started junk journaling, which was about 18 months ago now. So I haven't used them. <laughs> so I thought a Waterfall Journal will give me a chance to get those out. And um, obviously we're doing the mass makes anyway, which will continue through October. Um, so that is using up some of those papers that are finally, finally getting a purpose. Um, but on top of that, I've also got a few other things that have been piling up, such as um, stickers. I never really use stickers and, you know, that often. And I've really tried to recently to get some, some used. Um, and I've got, uh, well, really, yeah, scraps and packaging for me has piled up. So I'm also thinking about... Uh, either I do a junky type of thing through Shop Your Stash or I do a separate series uh, through October and November which is to get through my pile of stuff. So what I've started doing is this basket just here behind me, this top one, I've started putting stuff in there which is like move it on type thing. So maybe there's junk in there, maybe there's unfinished projects, maybe there's... Um, yeah, things I've started. Just stuff like that that I think, right, I really want to give these a purpose within the next couple of months. I've started collecting them up into a basket so that they're, you know, to hand and there's less of it. Like, I've still got a lot of stuff um, in this room that wants using and, and, and such like, but that gives me a starting point. So I'm still trying to figure out how this all, you know, fits in with my videos and everything but um just to, yeah just to give you a heads up i'm thinking about doing a junkie challenge if anyone's got any cool names for it i'd love to know um you know some people have really fun names for stuff but i can't seem to find anything mahalo or hawaiian related that could be related to junk i kind of want to call it you know i don't know mahalo for the junk but that's really cringy 
<laughs> oh, I can't believe I just said that, but you know. Um, moving on swiftly from that comment. But yeah, I just want to find, you know, something. But then equally, I might just call it Trash Tuesday. I don't know, Trash Thursday. We'll see. Um, I have also started a recent series on my channel um, earlier this week, which was just a, I didn't plan it in. It, the, the idea popped in my head in the shower of all places. Um, I'm calling it Travel Tuesday. It's not a weekly thing. It won't be every week because I'll soon run out of stories and things to do uh, on the videos. But basically they are related to our travels and adventures. So recent and past that I'd like to share with you, just, you know, fun stories and fun adventures and things like that. Um, and then in the videos, we will make something simple. So maybe it's decorating some tags, which was the first episode. Maybe it's making some, you know, collage masterboards or um, just simple things that I think I can do at the same time as talking about something unrelated, which I really struggle with, which is why I've decided to do it like this. So I can still share those personal stories, but still make something at the same time rather than these videos, which is just me talking to camera. So that is that. Um, and as I say, that's just ad hoc. So when I've got something to share, when I've got something to do, I will do those videos and call them Travel Tuesday. Um, that is everything project related, past and present and future. Um, I've also got some amazing Happy Mail and purchases to share with you this week because I have spent some of my birthday money. Um, and I've also received some incredible Happy Mails. So uh, I'm going to do my usual. I'm going to turn this off <laughs> and we're going to come down to my desk and have a look what's on it. How's that? Hopefully you can see a few bits and bobs. So the first things that I want to share with you are some birthday presents and some bits and bobs that I've bought with birthday money. So um, the first bit is my lovely hubby. Um, I don't know if you remember from last month's Mahalo Monthly, it was the day after my birthday um, that I was filming it and um, I had a few presents from him to share with you but there were a couple of others that were sadly delayed in the post. Well, they arrived about a week after my birthday and I wanted to share them with you. So the first things that he bought were these Cosmic Shimmer Spray Mists, my first of this type of a thing. Um, this one is Copper Blaze, which I have started using in uh, autumnal woodland type projects. And this one is Mademoiselle, Mademoiselle Pink, which looks like it's sort of a purpley, more like a purple, but a purple pink fuchsia kind of colour. So um, I'll save this obviously for, you know, spring and summer type projects, but I wanted to share those. I've started attempting to figure out how best to use them. So there's those. I'm really excited for those because I did um, I did want some. And I wanted to share this with you because um, he also bought me a gift card from a craft store online, which I have now spent. Um, those bits and bobs haven't arrived in the post yet. Um, we're having all kinds of, you know, postal strikes and delays and things going on at the moment. So um, they will be coming whenever and I will share them with you on the next video, of course or the next Mahalo Monthly, but I wanted to share with you how they packaged up the gift card. It was homemade, handmade. So um, it's packaged up like this, really beautiful peachy colours, like so. And the gift card was just in this little part in the middle, Isn't that fun? And then obviously there was space to write, but my hubby being the hubby that he is, he didn't write in it because he knew that I would absolutely repurpose this in junk journals. So this is going into my secret garden uh, box. Oops. Um, to yeah, I thought this could be, you know, you could put something in there, a journal card or something, and then this could be a place for a photo, and you could write your journaling there, something like that. Um, so yeah, that will be repurposed in some way for junk journal stuff soon. So I just thought. Um, yeah, we're all into this paper crafting stuff, so I thought you guys would appreciate seeing that. Um, the website is, I think it's mycraftyflare.co.uk. Um, I think that's also where he got the Cosmic Shimmer Mists from. Um, I've ordered some paper pads um, and a brayer, so I'll show you those bits and bobs when they, when they do come. 
Um, and then uh, Scott's parents <laughs> kindly also gave me a an Amazon gift card for my birthday, which I have spent um, some of it now. Um, so I thought I would show you what I got. So the first thing is this Tim Holtz small talk sticker, quote sticker thing, which um, I've never had these, but I think these are going to be, you know, the perfect size for just adding to projects. Um, and I like some of these quotes, you know, take risks, be brave, believe in yourself, um, choose to see the good stuff. There's beauty and simplicity, that kind of a thing. I'm sure you've seen these before. And you get all different stickers in white and black. So lots to use up there. And um, I finally, yeah, just thought it was on my wish list. So I figured I would um, go ahead and buy that with the, well, yeah, buy that with the money. Um, then we have this Sparrow Hill, um, I think this is a Chow Bella 6x6, um, and I got this from, I said it was from Amazon, didn't I? Yeah, all, the, all these bits now I'm showing you are from Amazon. I thought these would be good for Secret Garden. So they are fussy cut, uh, it's a fussy cut pad, um, so obviously this is the front cover, but it gives you an idea of what to expect from the pieces. Lots of birds and flowers and teacups and things, but there's also papers on the back. Um, and I think you get three of each design. So I was thinking, you know, I could use two pages of fussy cuts and have, you know, especially the blackberries. I love that. I love that paper. Um, yeah, some of them are user six by sixes. So I'll just um, run you through the design so you can see them and you can get a flavour for my secret garden. I thought these would be really nice for it because as I say, we've got the birds and the flowers, but you've also got the sort of the vintage style, you know, the old clocks and teacups and things. Not all of them will be relevant for secret garden. Like this is more baking, but um, this sort of stuff is perfect. So just thought I would share these with you. Really, really pretty. Oh, well, I realise I'm not showing you the papers on the back. <laughs> That's uh, also part of the reason I got it, was to get the 6x6 papers on the back as well, which, as I say, I will use them, you know, as and when. Nice greens and blues and pinks and things. That's those. And I think this is the last one in purple, with wood on the back. And I thought this was cool, it's got little books, books in the corner, because I also want to, um, uh, yeah, bring in um, earthy tones into my secret garden terracottas and brick and leather bound books and um stuff like that because obviously the story is set in this you know this old house and and whatnot obviously with the garden but you know um i'll show you these in a second i will go to this first this is a craft consortium paper pad um as you might have guessed this is for secret garden bloom and wild um it's 12 by 12 and it's got um, colours on the back, but I bought it for the um, this these these types of sheets. Again, I think it's three of each. So I thought I would just show you those. Really nice, like watercolour flowers and leaves. Um, and this this is about fifteen pounds, I think, which is not too bad for a big twelve by twelve. Um, and Craft Consortium is really good quality paper. Um, that's that one. I thought these would be nice for the forest journal actually mixed in with some other papers. So that is, yeah, the Bloom and Wild and you get 30 sheets. Um, and yeah, Craft Consortium paper is, is really good quality. Um, so I was happy with that. These, I thought these were awesome and I have to show you them. Well, I'm showing you everything regardless, aren't I? These are antiquarian book plates. They're stickers. But I thought these would be really cool for, well, partly for the altered book that I, I talked about. Um, how do I get them out? There we are. Um, but also for, you know, hardback type journals where I might repurpose a, um, a book cover or something. Because you can stick them in and they look like old library labels. You know, and they've got, some of them have got quotes on. A room without books is like a body without a soul from Cicero. And you can write your name and, and stuff. 
and there's a few different designs and you get a whole bunch of them. I think there's over 50 stickers in the pack, so that's those. We've got Ex Libri stickers and from the library of, again with um, quotes on. A few of those and then this kind. We read to know we are not alone from C.S. Lewis. What do you think? I thought they would be really fun in, yeah, as I say, the altered book and other projects. And of course, me being me, us being us, <laughs> um, I think you'll all agree with me on this one. I got this, um, they came in this, and I thought instantly, I was like, okay, what can I make this into? <laughs> and I'm thinking it might make a cool ephemera holder. I mean, you wouldn't be able to fit a huge amount in there, but where's that? There, like that. Um, but you know, that could stand on my desk. Oh, I don't know, it might fall over. Or, if it's not going to be that, I was thinking, is there a way I could make a really cool journal cover with it? Um, I realise I'm more excited by the packaging than what's actually in the box, but you know. Because you could have like some kind of cut out journal cover where maybe I attach this um, plastic to the cover in some way. So you open up the whole thing and you know you've got I don't know flowers or leaves or something I haven't quite figured out it was just more you know that was kind of what I was thinking so if anyone's got any ideas for how I might be able to repurpose that or if anyone knows of anyone who might have used something like this as a journal cover uh, then please point me in the right direction um, because I would love to yeah see what others have done as I say um, I saw it and thought perfect but yeah <laughs> I was supposed to be showing you the stickers. I thought those were really cool. So yeah, they'll definitely come in handy for various things. So um, that was the yes, yeah, so that was the birthday uh, presents, so to speak. Um, I also was lucky enough. I'm sorry about all of the squeaking and rustling and shiny plastic and whatnot. I was able to get this Nature's Gallery collection. Um, hopefully you can see what I've got in front of me. Front of me. On eBay, it's part used. Um, I think the lady was making her own projects um, and then, you know, wanted to get rid of the surplus. But it's the entire like paper collection from, it's Ducraft's Paper Mania Nature's Gallery. Uh, I've seen Tanya from Tetty Treasure use this um, quite a while ago and um she said it was discontinued so what i did was i um i really liked it so i wanted to get um a, a copy myself i was mainly looking for the 12 by 12 and so i put an alert on ebay which you might not know that you can do where when somebody lists something with those keywords you get an email so this lady had put up these bits and bobs for about a fiver can you imagine so yeah, with, with delivery, it was about a tenner that I got all of this for, but everything is near complete. So what did I get? We've got the packs of trims. I really like this green leafy one. This will be definitely used in my forest project coming up. There's coloured cardstock. I won't get them out because there's, you know, you can see the colours here, but um, I may be able to use those. If not, then I'll just sell on um, on eBay, whatever I don't want to use type thing. But what I was really excited about was the die cuts and the 12 by 12s. So here's what it looks like. So this is the uh, die cut and paper pack. Um, and this is where she wrote down what she what was left. And there was, you know, plenty here. So we've got all of these die cut toppers which, um, you know, can be, you know, journal cards, journal toppers, that kind of thing. Some more here. Aren't these great as, um, you know, I can use some of these as journal cards and pockets, you know, on top of something, but with this being the base. Aren't they fab? Some more journal uh, 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 toppers with the birds. These are all punch outs. For the forest journal so this is yeah for uh, I'm planning on doing a bird journal next year but I'm also planning on doing um, obviously I've got the forest journal where the ferns will come in 
and we've got the secret garden project which is using all of this on top of the die cuts you also get the a4 papers or i've also got them so there's this bird one these are single sided it's nice fern and flowers one plain for i'll just use these for journal backings a couple of sheets of that i'll probably cut out these little birds and use these as embellishments Nice purple, this one goes this way and I thought this would be really nice as a journal page for my purple fairy journal which um, is still <laughs> still in underway. Some blue, there's a couple of those. These will make really nice journal cards. So I've got a couple of those. Some nice pink and then we've got the plain pink, green and blue. Aren't they fab? So that is the, as I say, the single sided A4s. And then I've also got the 12 by 12. Um, I won't get these out because they're quite similar to what you've just seen, but they're the 12 by 12 version. Um, and these are double sided. Um, and they, there's loads in here. Um, even though it's a part used pack that I got from somebody, it's mostly all here. How lucky am I? <laughs> so yeah, I just wanted to share in the excitement. Um, and then I've also got a couple more purchases uh, before we get into the oh, special, special happy mail. So um, I've got these papers. Now these come from Paper Tree Nook, I think is their website, I will link them below. Um, they do uh, wrapping paper and you can get samples of it in a 6x6. Six six. So I'll show you these and then I also did buy some wrapping paper from them which is amazing. So we've got Cherry Blossom, this one's got like gold foiling, silver birch. This one's got gold foiling as well, I thought this would be nice for my winter projects coming up. Nice trees. And the, the hair, the bunny, again, winter or spring. And I've got this gold, gold one which I thought would be nice for collage. Aren't they lovely? And this one for collage. And this one is calligraphy and music writing but it, can you see that shimmer of the gold? It's got a gold overlay. And that's for winter woodland type projects. And this one I thought would be nice for collage. So those are those. Those are the, um, you get, you can choose 10 papers as a 6x6 six six sample pack for a couple of pounds. So not very expensive at all. Um, and then, because those papers were so amazing, I couldn't resist buying some full sheets of wrapping paper which again were only a couple of pounds per sheet but they're massive so I was really really happy with what I've got and I think you will be too <laughs> um, so I think you probably for those of you who watched Tarnif from Test Treasure you would have seen this forest one so I managed to get myself a copy as you can see it's massive it's about A2 sized, so I got that one. Um, I won't use it this year, this will be for forest projects next year. <laughs> this is really hard to show you, but I'm trying. Then I saw this. It's a winter scene, and can you see that gold detailing? And I'm gonna try and show you the whole thing because the pattern does change as you go through, there's the bottom, you can see the heron and the bird and the ducks and things, berries, gold. And last but not least, this one also has gold detailing and this one is, well, woodland secret garden-esque, like we've got the, the gate here and uh, there's a key. Can you see the key? 
and we've got all of the woodland animals robin, fox, badger with berries and little creatures, hedgehog down here aren't they absolutely amazing? so yeah I'm gonna <laughs> struggle to get those back in the box now but I had to show you because they're absolutely beautiful really 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 beautiful so yeah I feel very lucky and thank you to Tanya for sharing the website so that we can you know um, go off and find these things ourselves um, I also got a supply of stickers from Bluebell Hill Crafts on Etsy. Um, so I spent over a tenner and she sent some freebies as well. So I've got um, a sticker book here and these sort of collaging stickers. Um, I actually have to try and remember what these are because <laughs> I've bought a lot of stickers and uh, I can't actually remember. Try and try and save that washi and um, so this is the last purchase I want to share with you and then the rest will be uh, happy mails so these are really cool they're like uh, little postcards and letters all different sizes that might be a bit easier for you to see aren't they fun so I've got those and a glassine bag that I can use oh I've got it stuck here we go Um, I've got some, some ones here, which, <laughs> see if I can get them out and show you. These are like faux postage stamp ones, but I thought some of these might be able to be used in forest projects, because I think there were some, there you go, tree ones, um, there's some mountain scene there and I think there were you know little tickets and things and this type of a thing so yeah those are going to be fun to use sorry I'm whizzing through stuff now it's just because um I've still got a lot more to share with you <laughs> and uh, I want to keep these videos under an hour um otherwise they are ridiculous time to upload um and then these are some ticket stickers that I thought looked fun and they've got gold can you see the, the gold gold detailing on them so they're all different types of sticker uh, tickets um, so I thought these would be good for collaging and clusters and, and things like that and of course me being me I had to have the gold so yeah all different kinds in there so I was pleased with these um, so as I say that's Bluebell Hill Crafts I think is the name of her Etsy shop um, I know that I can get stickers like this from places like AliExpress and whatnot, but shopping on there terrifies me because I don't know what I'm doing with it. Um, I still need to learn. Um, so for now, I'm you know I'm sticking with shops that that I um, that, that I like. <laughs> um, and she did send me some some freebie stickers as well, um, which I probably won't get out because you'll see these. But um, I'll just share with you a couple of them. Um, these are not stickers, they're papers, but she sent these as a freebie. And these will be good for projects, so you'll see these coming up soon. There's a whole bunch of different things like that, and some freebie stickers. Right, breathe. That's the purchases. As I say, I had a lot to share with you. It was my birthday, I had some um, buy me a coffee money to spend, different things like that, um, that I just wanted to, um, yeah, treat myself a bit. And uh, you'll see those those bits and bobs coming up soon. Um, I have got some more purchases, but as I say, they haven't arrived yet. They'll come um, probably in the next couple of weeks. Um, but I had received some happy mails, which I wanted to share with you and say a thank you. So the lovely Rhonda sent me some art glitter glue. Isn't that amazing? Um, I've been talking about this glue because everyone keeps raving about it and I refused to buy it because I thought I have no idea if this glue is worth my time. So now I get to see what all the fuss is about. 
So thank you so much Rhonda, that was really really kind of you to send that and um, I look forward to seeing what all the fuss is about. And the lovely Carol Ann from Catch Crafts, she sent me some lovely things, some incredible things really. Um, so I would like to share this with you before I get into these parts. Um, now I'm sorry about the light, hopefully you can see that in all of its beautiful pink glory. Um, for those of you who have been following my channel for a while, you'll remember my very first Mahalo Monthly was me sharing with you uh, more about me and some news and it was that Etsy had declared me their rising star um, and it was thanks to all of you for that because um, part of the way that I make money from my YouTube channel is by sharing affiliate links which I earn commission on so when I share, you know, digital kits that I am using in my projects, if there is a link in the description box, then I do earn a little bit of money. And there is like, um, I, I do put a little bit of text next to that so that you know it is an affiliate link. But, um, yeah, Etsy declared me a rising, a rising star earlier this year. And <laughs> Carol Ann, who is Cadge Crafts, um, she has Etsy and YouTube. I will link her, her channels and shop down below. She made me this to go in my craft room. Isn't that lovely? That is just such a nice thing. So it says House of Mahalo Rising Star Etsy 2022, um, which looks like it's on fabric. I imagine she's probably used her Cricut. Um, and you know, we've got some pink flowers and some lace and some really beautiful colors. So right now I've got that next to me on my desk so I can see it every time I'm in here. Um, but eventually I will find a space for it on the wall just above my desk. Um, I just need to get around to actually getting the hammer out. <laughs> so thank you, Caroline. That was, it, it's beautiful. And I'm absolutely touched that you would spend the time making that for me and um, want to do that. So thank you. That is really so kind of you. And I will absolutely treasure it for the rest of my life, <laughs> for years. It will be sitting in here to remind me of this beautiful community that I'm so, so happy to be a part of. Um, so alongside um, the, the, the plaque, uh, Carol Ann also did send me this tag, which has a note from her on the back. So this will go in my Happy Mail journal. Isn't that lovely? I think this is um, painted or coloured, this flower. Really beautiful collaging. Um, and then she also sent me some goodies, which I think she might stock these in her Etsy shop. Um, so we've got in here some uh, like faux postage stamps in really nice grungy brown colours. So these will be perfect for woodland type projects. Um, I won't get them out because I'll get them absolutely everywhere, but hopefully you can see past the shiny. So I'll use those in some clusters and embellishments and things. And how sweet are these? These are dangles in a bee theme, which I do actually want to do a bee themed journal. <laughs> and I don't think Carol Ann knew that unless I've said it on a video. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, she um, she sent me these as well. Um, and they've got really nice backing papers, I noticed. So I'll use those in um, some projects. But uh, yeah, I think she stocks stuff like this in her Etsy shop. So, um, you know, do, do go have a look. Um, and, you know, I'll be looking forward to using these. Um, I don't know if I'll do a bee themed journal next year. Um, I am planning out, you know, the year ahead. Um, and obviously Secret Garden is taking up a good portion of the beginning. Um, but a bee themed journal is on my list because I have got some really nice yellow papers that I want to use. Um, so when I do get around to doing those, absolutely, I'll be using these for that. So thank you so much, Carol Ann. That is really so lovely of you. Um, I also just want to say a thank you as well to all of those of you who do, you know, watch, you like, you comment, you share, um, anyone who's donated to my Buy Me A Coffee site, um, thank you um, for using my affiliate links, just being part of my Facebook group, reading my blogs, whatever it is that you do to support me, which um, is all manner of things, <laughs> um, thank you. Um, I know I say that every, every, every one of these videos, but genuinely thank you. Um, I am so blessed to have found this community. Um, I only started junk journaling about 18 months ago. Um, 
I didn't join any Facebook groups for the first sort of three months. I didn't know they existed. Um, so I think I've only really been a part of this community for just over a year. Um, so I think since about August, uh, August last year is when I actually got more vocal. I obviously started up the YouTube channel a couple of months later, joined Facebook groups, that kind of a thing. And I can't tell you enough how welcoming everyone has been, how supportive this community is. I am so blessed to be a part of it um, and I want to thank you for being here on this journey with me. Um, I am still learning. I am learning everything. <laughs> I still don't really know how YouTube works fully. Um, I'm doing my best with it. Um, I am still learning with junk journal stuff and some of you might think that it looks easy on video. It's not. It's really, really not. Um, I, I find some things easier than others, of course. I really struggle with embellishing and, um, like, I'll make up a pocket and I'll think, I like it. And then I think, oh, I best add something to it. And I don't really know where to start. So I am still learning and I am trying my absolute hardest to get better and better and better and to um, to just keep keep going with it. So I just say that because if anyone is out there who is feeling a little bit unsure about what they're producing and you see these videos and think, oh, she makes it look easy. It's not, it's really, really not. You know, it's, it is, it is tricky sometimes to know what to put where, but one of the best things about this craft is there's no right or wrong. If it feels right to you and you like it, go for it. And that is something that I have to keep telling myself and reminding myself about um, every time I do a video because I'm aware that people are going to watch it and judge me for my work, right? <laughs> Let's be honest, that's the reason why. Um, but you have been amazing. Um, you know, anytime I get likes and comments, I, I, I really, really just have to pinch myself sometimes to think, oh, they like it, yay, you know. And, you know, the fact that you enjoy my videos is just wonderful because I love doing these. And I realise I'm just a talking hands right now, but I really don't want to turn the camera around <laughs> right now. Um, just because it's a bit of a faff with turning the tripod. But um, I'll put this in front of me. There we are. Um, so, yeah, it's... um, What was I saying? Oh, my goodness, mate, my memory is awful. It really is. I started doing brain training every day because I realised that I was just getting so forgetful about all kinds of stuff. But yeah, <laughs> um, I really can't remember what I was saying. Yep, yeah, gone. Uh, I was probably saying, you know, thank you. And, you know, I do have to pinch myself with um, the fact that you enjoy the videos because I love doing these videos. Um, I do them partly for me because I love it so much, I enjoy it so much and the fact that I can sit here and make something but also have somebody watching at the same time is, is yeah, I have to pinch myself with it. Um, and then of course, yeah, when, when I see that people have enjoyed the videos or enjoyed what I've made or both, then um, it's, it's wonderful. So, you know, thank you for taking the time to, to welcome me and to you know show your support and and what have you um and you know i'll do my best to just yeah keep popping up with stuff that i think you'll enjoy watching and i am also still learning what style of videos um people prefer um so things might change here and there i'm trying not to because i like my videos the way they are but I think I just want to be a bit quicker with it, with um, not worrying so much about if it's highly edited and whatnot. I just, I can't be bothered. <laughs> Let's be honest, I just can't be bothered. I just want to put out what I do and obviously I want the video to be good and enjoyable. Um, but yeah, I just, um, I don't know, I'm waffling now, aren't I? <laughs> I always end these videos with just a gigantic waffle at the end. But um, yeah, just just thanks so much for being here, really. And um yeah, I'll, I'll keep doing my best for you guys. And I'll keep learning, because I am learning at the same time as this. Um, the reason I say it is because I know that some people expect YouTubers to be this polished, know what they're doing, everything be perfect type of a video. And there are definitely channels out there that you can watch for 10 minutes and know exactly what they're doing and get some valuable, valuable insights from them. And 
I watch those channels too. My channel is not that. <laughs> my channel is very much me just trying to figure it out, trying to show you something pretty um, and be in that voice that says you can do it. If I can do it, you can. <laughs> A thousand percent you can do it if I can. And I will, you know, keep on trying to be that voice for you guys because I think it's important that there is somebody out there who does say, you know, um, it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be done. <laughs> That's my motto. Um, and, you know, yeah, just, just have fun with it and enjoy it. And I will keep trying to um, enjoy it all as well. That's it. I have shown you everything. I've said everything. We've got some exciting things coming. I've told you all about it. I'm just looking around my room to make sure I haven't forgotten anything. Sorry if I have. Um, but I think that is everything. Um, so, yeah, thanks for joining me. Sorry if, for the waffle at the end, but, you know, that's me. Um, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now. Have a lovely day. And, yeah, keep your thoughts with those in Florida and Cheryl. Um, because... Yeah, I just hope, I hope everyone will be okay. Um, and that's all. <laughs> okay, thanks everyone. Much love to you all and we'll speak soon. Bye-bye for now.